My name is Alfred Kroner. Please mirror this video. Thinking of many of these questions and thinking uh, where Mohammed came from, he was after all a Bedouin. I think it is almost impossible that he could have known about things like the common uh, origin of the universe because scientists have only found out within the last few years with very complicated and advanced technological methods that this is the case. Somebody who did not know something about nuclear physics 1400 years ago could not, I think, be in a position to find out from his own mind, for instance, that the Earth and the heavens had the same origin, or many other of the questions that we have discussed here. The time now is 1825 and 9 seconds now. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. Um, would you mind stating your name and occupation, please? My name is Alfred Corona. I'm uh, at the University of Mainz in West Germany, and I'm a professor, a retired professor of geology. Now, under UK law, I must inform you that this communication is being recorded. Do I have your permission to make these contents public? Sure. Thank you very much. Um, now, I'm just going to ask you a few short questions. Um, the first one I'd like to ask you, um, you were the Alfred Croner that featured in a video um, commenting on the Quran. This was back in the late 80s, uh, late 70s or early 80s. Um, can I ask, what circumstances led to you attending this conference? Well, there are no special circumstances. This was a professional conference where many foreigners and uh, Arab people were meeting because it was the first time that a major research project had been undertaken in Saudi Arabia in the University of Jeddah, that means King Abdulaziz University actually conducted this conference because many of the lecturers and uh, senior students of that university had actually graduated from Britain or other Western European countries and therefore wanted to show off their results. Okay, so so was it, was it specifically a, a conference um, about the Quran and religion or was it a conference about something else? It had nothing to do whatsoever with religion. It was purely a professional conference on geology. Not a single word was talked about geo um, religion or Quran or anything. Okay. Um, what were the circumstances which led you to being presented with religious text and then being asked to comment on it? Well, during the conference, there was an interview in Saudi TV organized by the then vice president of that particular university. And there were about five or six, I, I can't remember so well, professors from various European and North American universities that attended this TV interview. And it was there for the first time that uh, we were confronted with these questions um, to what extent the Quran was compatible with present-day thinking in earth sciences. Okay. Your comments were later used to suggest that you thought the Quran contained information which could not have been known by humans at the time without divine revelation. Do you think that this accurately reflects your opinion at the time? Well, that was not at all the purpose and the discussion that we had. The discussion was they were reading us certain verses from the Quran. And then they would say, is this compatible with present day scientific knowledge? In some cases, we said yes, because always is in almost every religion is always something that is compatible. And in other cases, we say no. So there was never the question whether there was any divine circumstances or anything in this interview. Um, did you ever try to have these videos removed from the web? No. no? Um, actually, there's something that um, I discovered more recently, someone gave me a Quran as a gift, mm -hmm. and as I turned to the back of the Quran, you're actually in my Quran. So I didn't oh, know if you knew. That. I didn't know if you knew that, but you're actually so. you're you're I in didn't. a holy book. <laughs> I have seen this. I have also. I have a copy of this at home. I read it many, many, many years ago, but it had nothing to do with that particular meeting. Yeah. Um, have you looked into the subject any further since uh, this event, no. and has your opinion changed since? the event or well you see this conference was I think in 79 and nothing happened and 
you know, this whole thing with the internet actually came, only came up about maybe four years ago or something. I can't even remember. And then somebody f sent me a message on the internet and I replied and they said, oh, I'm very surprised, but this is not how it was and so on. And then continuously more messages came. And then I talked to people in my department. We have a geography department where there are so, uh, two people who are really speaking Arabic and they're Arabists, as, as you would call them. And they really know the Arab world extremely well. And I told them about this and I said, look, there's nothing you can do. You just have to live with this, leave it alone, because we can't advise you to do anything. It will not help. Um, finally, may I ask, um, did you become a Muslim as a result of this event? No, I've never been a Muslim before. I've never been a Muslim afterwards. <laughs> Okay, and finally, to wrap up, um, could you confirm, are the opinions that you've stated in this video interview your own? This one that we are talking about right yes, now? we have in right sure. at this moment. Sure, this is my own opinion. Okay, and have I offered you any reward for this, um, financial or otherwise? No, not yet, yet. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be offering you anything either. <laughs> um, Okay, well, thank you very much, Alfred, for agreeing to do this interview. And yep. um, I will try to make sure that as many people mirror this video as possible. Um, sure. The time okay. now is 18.30 and 39 seconds now.